Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. On this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to get port number, domain name using JavaScript. Uh, before we get started, hit the subscribe button and share to your friends. Okay, let's get started right away. Um, I've opened my VS Code and I've created a new file, so I'm just going to name my file. So I'm going to, I'm going to name it, let us name it or uh, port number dot html. So we've, we've created a new file. So I'm going to start with our HTML5. So you can change your title number to whatever title you write you can you have or you want mine I'm going to put what number so right away I'm going to start so um I'm going to be doing internet JavaScript uh, for easy programming Okay, for those who are not vulnerable on HTML, I'm going to be doing it now. So I'm going to create a script tag and okay, what we call plus script type equals text slash JavaScript and close my tag. I'm going to delete this and post it inside our head. Okay. Not that. But our style. Script. Right now, our body. I've put it. I've put my um huge one, and I've made the color green. So I'm just uh, trying to make the page a little bit interactive. Nothing much. You can just change this. After our paragraph, our break tag, I'm going to put our, I'm going to put our paragraph tag. Okay, so as you can see here, it says um, my protocol. This is my spam class equals protocol. Spam class equals domain, and my spam class equals ports. Okay, so I created our So next we are going to so I go to add our button. So um, when you click on the button, it will show you your protocol, your domain name, and your port number. Okay. So um, our button on click equals get details. Could you just a function in JavaScript? Yeah, this get details. Yeah. So. Let's try running our code to see what we have done. Okay, I have a I'm opening this live server. If you don't have live server, you can go to your extensions and uh, install live server straight away. Okay, 
my pot has started Okay, it's loading. So we're just going to refresh our page. Okay, that is our little piece of code. So when you click on this button, you should get your protocol domain and port. But um, we haven't added our JavaScript, so it's not yet functional. So let's go straight to it to add our JavaScript. So right here. So uh. Yeah, this is our function get details. Like I said earlier on the button. So when you click the button, it calls the function get details. Okay, this is a function in JavaScript, like I said earlier. So clicking on the button will call your functions and um after calling the functions, the protocol is called the location of protocol, your domain. Location does host name and port location of ports. So your query selector protocol text context equals protocol and our domain and our port. Since uh, these are the three things we are we want to get our protocol domain name and ports. So um, every site you visit on the net has uh, do, a port number, it has a domain name, it has a uh, protocol number whatever so um, this simple code just allow you to get the protocol the domain name and our port number of our local host okay so um, my live server is on our local host and uh, I uh, I refresh and I okay there it goes my protocol is uh, HTTP, my domain, okay, the 127.0.0.1 is the standard IP address of a local host. A uh, live server is an, is an extension that allows you to run your HTML, CSS, JavaScript so straight away without uh, refreshing or um, hitting your control s over and over and again any changes you make uh, is get recorded so okay um since we are using a local host to run our code on google chrome and uh, our port number is 5500 okay uh that is for now thanks for watching now next tutorial we will be will be learning how to build different batch programs thanks for watching